What's poppin' fight world? You rockin' with your boy, CBT Casual Boxing Talk, man. It's Saturday night. We got some fights tonight, man. It's gonna be lit, man. First and foremost, man, shout out to Triple G, man. He did me dirty today, man. But at the end of the day, he showed courage. He showed heart. He showed he can fight through adversity. And that's something that I love, man. When a guy's down in the scorecards, when a guy's down and out, when a guy's being pushed back, he start pushing back. And when Triple G start pushing back, he put hands. Is it free? You see me? Now, at the end of the day, man, lost a few dollars. First fight of the day, man. But at the end of the day, it's all good because that makes me let, let, lets me know that Triple G is ready. And I, I would love to see him in the ring with your boy Canelo. That's going to be an excellent fight. We'll talk about that. But right now, man, we talk about Sugar Sweet Shane. You dig what I'm saying? Going up against my boy, Rosario. It's going to be a good fight, man. Look. The undercard is good, man. I give it a B plus and all that. You see me? And at the end of the day, man, you know, when you think about Shane Mosley, man, and uh, what, we got 15? All right, we got 15 minutes before the fight starts, so we're going to talk our talk. Then we're going to go live and give y'all the whole visuals and all that, right? But, you know, for me, when Shane came on the scene, man, I'm like, okay, that's that Shane's son. Today, he got, you know, different... You know, attributes, right? He's longer, right? You see what I'm saying? He's taller. You see me? He, he nice little frame with him. You dig what I'm talking about? I'm like, all right, it's going to be a good, this is going to be a good fighter, man. Especially under, you know, the legend Shane Mosley. He turned out to be a dud, though. Like, <laughs> he turned out to be like a, a journeyman with a prospect type of journeyman. Maybe so he may get, get the job done type of guy. So... But Rosario, on the other hand, this is an excellent matchup, too. That's why I love the undercard. Excellent matchup. Two B-level, B-minus guys that are warriors. Shane is a good warrior, right? But Rosario is a warrior, man. And you know, uh, if he could touch you, he's going to hurt you. You see me? He just don't have boxing skills. And... Um, but he just got courage and heart, and, and that's what makes it a great fight, whoever he's in the ring with. So I'm tuning in. We're going live on this thing, breaking it down round by round. I got a few dollars on this fight right here. Something like something small, because you dig? Fandora versus my boy Lubin. That's where the big money is at. That's where the big money is at. So all the CBT supporters that put money up on your boy Lubin, we're going to get it in. And I love Lubin. Lubin is, Lubin is my guy. I picked Lubin to beat Jamel Charlo. You see me? So, but... There's some things we'll talk about that in the next video, man. But look, uh, yeah, a few dollars on this fight. So I got Rosario winning the 12 round decision, and it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. So, uh, just look out for a war, uh, between these two guys, man. Rosario's trying to get another one under his belt, man, and continue doing what he's doing, man. You know, you gotta salute that dude. But at the end of the day, man, subscribe to the channel, go to the next video, We're about to go live on this thing, man, giving you full blow by blow coverage of this whole fight. You dig? All right. Casual boxing talk. <laughs> Just when you thought you it's had to figure it out, new perspective. Casual boxing talk. <laughs>